Okay, up front and early in this video lecture series, I want to uh, introduce you to the concept of a startup venture in comparison to a lifestyle business. Okay, uh, understanding this is critical to using the information on this site um, to help you in building or growing your business. Now, lots of the information is useful in both scenarios, but um, in some scenarios, some information will apply to the startup and some will apply to the lifestyle business. So first of all, what is a lifestyle business? Well, most commonly it's thought of as a mom and pop shop. Okay, a small business um, that uh, basically exists for the purpose of providing a lifestyle or income to the individual so they can continue carrying on that business um, as, their, as their job or profession and it brings in a, a routine income. Okay, um, they generally compensate themselves out of, out of profits and, and pull any um, profits at the end of the year up potentially out of the business to compensate themselves. Uh, funding is generally done through personal assets, credit cards, things like that to get the, the business started. Then you move into small business loans or larger commercial loans and et cetera. So anyway, you come up with uh, the money to fund the business yourself and, and generally you don't look for outside investors and things like that, that to fund the business. And generally the business is an entity type that's closely held. Okay, so the organizational structure is kept as simple as possible, generally a LLC or S corporation, etc. Um, now let's compare that to the startup. The startup is more akin to a project management situation than it is to running a small business. Basically, it is the organization of, of resources around a new or novel idea, or some, sometimes not new, but um, uh, an idea that has potential to scale and significant growth potential. So the entrepreneur, rather than trying to create a lifestyle business for him or herself, uh, she's basically building a project that she can grow as rapidly as possible and then one day potentially exit um, by selling the business or, or merging the business with, with another uh, business entity. So again, it's more akin to, to project management than it is to, to um, simply running or doing the daily affairs associated with a small business. Um, lots of times a startup entrepreneur says um, that she spends her time working on the business rather than in the business. That is, uh, she will hire or um, contract with individuals to run the business or, or build a team to run the business. And she may oversee operations, but generally uh, she's working on building the business or uh, uh, securing more resources such as funding, equipment, assets, uh, um, et cetera, so the business meets a certain growth plane. Um, the startup entrepreneur generally is not concerned with turning a profit. Um, the concern is increasing revenue and growing. Generally, a startup will lose money throughout the entirety of its life up until a point of exit, right? So it goes through this growth plane that where, yes, it's losing money, losing money, losing money, but it's growing, 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 and it's able to put more money in there through investment or, or debt arrangements uh, where uh, basically every dollar added creates more value or potential value in the form of customer acquisition or sales, etc. Uh, so every dollar invested creates more growth than the value of that dollar. So again, um, it's, it's a prime target for investors that investors are willing to put their money in there because after a certain period of time, the business will be sold or um, uh, there will be a, an exit event for them where they can receive a return on their investment at the time of sale. So the investors likewise are not looking for compensation from the business the way you are in a lifestyle business. Everyone is simply looking to grow the business as fastly, uh, excuse me, as quickly as possible to reach certain growth objectives uh, for to ultimately cash out at some future time. Now, like we said, the lifestyle business, typically you're gonna have to fund that with personal funds, friends, family, uh, small business loans, et cetera, where the startup venture, you may start out early that way, but your objective is to um, either reinvest every ounce of profits or revenue from the business back in the business uh, to continue to grow it, or uh, in most cases seek some form of outside investment early on through angel investors, later on through perhaps venture capitalists, where the money is used to just grow the business and, and you spend the money um, as quickly as possible 
to achieve that growth as quickly as possible. Okay, so that again is, is a complete difference um, in the funding methods available between a, a lifestyle business and a startup venture. And then you have the structure. A, uh, a startup venture is going to go through a number of structures to start with, um, maybe a partnership at, to start with, then to a limited liability organization then uh, to a corporate form. Um, but by the time you get to outside investors, angel or, or venture capitalists, you're generally going to be a, a C corporation um, where you can authorize multiple types of shares um, to award to these investors that give them preferential rights. These are called preferred shares or preferred stock interest in the business. They give them preferences when the business is sold, certain rights in the business that are different from those, say, of the entrepreneur or owner who may continue to work in the business on a, on a daily affairs or, or manage the daily affairs of the business where the investor on the outside does not take part. So anyway, the structure of the business generally becomes far more complicated in the startup venture uh, given its growth-based nature than it is, say, under the, uh, the lifestyle business. So this is just a brief description, a brief overview of what the differences between the two are. But it's important to understand this vocabulary moving forward that the mom and pop shop or the lifestyle business versus the startup venture or the growth based venture. Uh, okay, so now that you understand this vocabulary, we can move forward with uh, the rest of the lectures and uh, have an idea of which types of um, or which portions of our information on this site are applicable to which type of business.